Hey guys, so in this lecture, we'll understand what are routed events in WPF. So just as WPF has a special type of property system called as dependency properties in WPF, same we have routed events in WPF which are special kinds of events. Now before we continue to this lecture, I, I strongly recommend you to watch my lecture on visual tree and logical tree in WPF because to understand completely understand routed events you need to have an understanding of what is a visual tree and logical tree in WPF. So let's quickly jump on, on to our slides and understand what are routed events in WPF. So as per the definition a routed event is a type of event that can invoke handlers on multiple listeners in an elementary rather than just the object that reaches the event. So this definition will be more clear once we look into our demo. but you need to understand that routed event is also a special type of event just like dependency property is a special type of property routed event is a special kind of event also if you have a button in your window forms control you double click onto the button then a event handler for that button is generated and whenever you click onto that button you get you get the corresponding logic fired which is written in the event handler of that button but with routed event you can not only invoke the that button but uh, you can also invoke the element which is containing that button so this thing will be more clear once we look into our demo so let's quickly jump on to visual studio so in order to save time i have a pre-typed code with me so let me paste that code in here and now now let me explain this code to you so first of all let me show you the code what i have done so I have a grid, grid has two columns, okay, and uh, then I have a button, which is this button, the big button, okay, and his uh, name is button click me, okay, then I have a stack panel inside that button, and then I have a label control inside that button, so this label display is a label control. Okay, it's not a content of button, it's a label of that button, means it's a label that is contained inside that button. Okay, then I have a canvas layout inside this button and then inside that canvas I have three more controls. There is one ellipse which is this ellipse. Then I have a button which is called inner button and then I have a another ellipse which is this ellipse, yellow ellipse. Okay, then I close the canvas control, I close the stack panel, I close the button. So it's a very simple code but uh, you need to have a good practice for that uh, for writing this type of codes so i recommend to you that you pause down this video right now and copy this code okay so basically a very simple code a button then i have three more controls inside that button let's try to run this and let's try to see how this button looks so i have a button then i have this label here I have this ellipse here, I have this yellow ellipse here, I have this inner button inside this button. Okay. Let's close this and try to understand how can we implement routed events in this custom control. So let's try to have a button click event associated with this outer button. Okay. So let me go to the properties of this button and here's the properties. Let me click on to the events tab and then generate a click event for this button okay and let me write a simple message box in here message box dot show i am the outer button okay and let me try to run this application see how this looks okay now you remember this is not a single button this is not a decoration there are different controls those are con contained inside this button so i have a ellipse i have two ellipses one label and one inner button so let me click first this big button i am the outer button okay so this works as expected now let me try to click this ellipse you, you can see i am the outer button let me try to click this label i am the outer button same goes with inner button i am the outer button so can you imagine that how is this happening you you can say that 
ellipse does not have a click click event just like a button so ellipse does not behave like a button okay same is with label control a label does not behave like a button but when, but when i am cl clicking this label control it's behaving like a button that's because on click of this label there's an event that is generated and then that event finds no handler and this is handled with by this outer button okay so this is happening because of routed events so if i click this ellipse so no event is linked with ellipse ellipse does not have a click event so this button handles the click event of this ellipse okay so i am the outer button is fired so let's see what this what our slide says so routed events have three main routing strategies one is direct event second is bubbling event second and third is tunneling event now imagine a button control and you are directly double clicking clicking onto that button and generating the click event so this is called direct event so this direct event was prevalent with window forms asp.net web forms and even it's prevalent with wpf also but what is not prevalent what was not prevalent with window forms was bubbling event and tunneling event so you can understand that direct events are the normal events so these are normal clr events let's look into bubbling events and tunneling events so i have shown you the example of routed events so that uh, the example what i have shown you is called as bubbling event so let's try to make this example more elaborate let's run this application one more time and you can see i am clicking anywhere and this event is being fired each and everywhere okay regarded uh, reg uh, regardless of the control what i am clicking so now let's change the requirement i want this uh, green ellipse to be clicked okay or message to be displayed that i am clicking this green ellipse so how could we do this let's go to our xaml file and let me have this ellipse and on the on to the properties of this ellipse let me search mouse down event now mouse down event is equivalent to the click event uh, because uh, ellipse is not a button so let me have this mouse down event in here and let me copy this message and paste in here and i am the let me give a message that i am a green ellipse okay let's try to run this now you can see i am the green ellipse is been fired but why this event is not bubbling up that's because it's not a button okay so event will bubble if this would have been a button so let me try to do this same thing with this inner button thing so let me go back to xaml click on this inner button have a click event generated and then let me paste this message in here and say I am the inner button okay let's try to run this now and see the magic of routed events so this is the outer uh, button so let me click this I am the outer button so it uh, it behaves as expected let me click on the ellipse I am the green ellipse okay now let's try to click the inner button say I am the inner button and then when i will try to click ok it says i am the outer button ok so this event has bubbled up the hierarchy bubbled up the visual tree ok let me try to show you this button is present inside this button ok so this has tra this event has traveled from here to here ok so it has got event handler in this button so it has handled it so let me show you once again i am the inner button and then i am the outer button so this click event is traveling upwards and this is called as bubbling event so let me go back to our slides so you have seen direct event and you have seen also seen as bubbling event now what is a tunneling event tunneling ev event is the vice versa of bubbling event so if bubbling event travels from down to up tunneling events travel from up to down now we will see the example of tunneling event later first uh, let's try to understand that why do we actually we need bubbling events in wpf 
So let's go back to Visual Studio. And let's let us say that if we run this application in here, I don't want to just display a message here. I am the green ellipse. Okay. I just want to do two tasks simultaneously and this could be done with the help of a routed event. So let me delete this message from here. Green ellipse. Okay. And try to run this application one more time. So now if I will click the green ellipse, what will happen? I won't get a message that I am a green ellipse. So it will do the work of that button. Okay. Now I, if I want to do some different task onto this control, I can do this with the help of routed event. So let's try to change the title of our window. Okay. So I will just write this dot title. equals green ellipse has changed the title okay let's try to run this and see how how this works so i am trying to do two tasks simultaneously okay so let me try to click this green lips so first task is done i am the outer button and you can see the display in here green ellipse has changed the title okay so the title has also changed so this demo is just for illustration you can do anything uh, means you can define anything in these routed events and do two tasks simultaneously with a one button click okay and this can only be achieved with the help of routed events so let me close this i hope the concept and purpose of routed events is clear to you and now let's see the tunneling events let's move back to our slides so we can see the last point tunneling event travel down in visual tree hierarchy the difference between a bubbling and a tunneling event is that a tunneling event will always start with a preview so if you are searching the events on in your properties windows the all the events that start from preview keyword is a tunneling event so let's move to visual studio again and let me go to the xaml file so let me come to this big button and let me go to the preview events that is the tunneling events and let's select this preview mouse move event and let me have this message box copied in here so it says mouse moved by outer button okay same process we should repeat with the inner button so here it is and let me copy this paste it here inner button okay let's try to run this application so here is our application running and since this is a mouse move event so the moment i will put a mouse onto that button this event will be fired so this is a very sensitive event okay so let me put a mouse over this button and you can see mouse moved by outer button so this is obvious because i have put a mouse over that big button now let's come to this inner button so now event should first fire by the outer button and then it should fire by inner button because my mouse will move so mouse moved by outer button and then let's press enter or ok you can see mouse moved by inner button so first the mouse moved by outer button events fire and then mouse moved by inner button event fire so how how this is traveling this is traveling from the outer button to the inner button that is it is tunneling it is traveling from up towards down so i hope you understood the concept of tunneling and bubbling events and why do we need these routed events so I have shown you that with routed events, you can perform two tasks simultaneously. Uh, in our example, we change the title of the window. Also, we fired a message box from that button. So if you are creating a custom control and you need many controls inside that those custom controls, so you need to define a routing strategy to handle the events of those controls. So say suppose you have a button and you have two or three buttons inside those buttons so you need to take care of the events those are fired by the click of each control otherwise this is this will be very complex for you 
to maintain so this is the purpose of routed events in WPF so let's move back to our slides and you can see just like dependency properties we can create our custom routed events too so you have seen the predefined routed events such as mouse down mouse up button click etc but you can also create your custom routed events with your custom user controls so thank you so much guys for listening if you have any doubt please leave a comment below and please do subscribe to my channel thank you so very much